Evening everybody. I see here. Yeah, a couple of quick things to talk about. I'm gonna get a laugh at some of this. I did. Let's start off with our illustrious, overly educated, because he plagiarizes President Joseph Biden. Down in the Carolinas, goes into a church starts spewing a whole bunch of garbage. I think he actually claimed he helped start the civil rights movement. Uh, I didn't hear the whole thing, so I'm just going by what I was hearing on the news. But uh, he gets the heck heckled out of him from a bunch of people that are talking about freeing Palestine and you know getting Israel out of Gaza and all that other crap. Well, apparently our brain-dead president who cares more about whether or not he's leaking in his depends than telling the truth is getting heckled by people that don't even know what they're he actually heckling about. Palestine was a city-state back during the Roman days when the Romans took over the area known as Judea which was under the control of the Jewish religious leadership. It means Bethlehem, Nazareth, Jerusalem, that whole area was all called Judea. But the Jewish religious leaders were a thorn in the side for the Roman legions that were there. So the Romans, just to basically piss them off, changed the name from Judea to Palestine. That's where the Palestinians get the idea that it's all their land. It's a bunch of crap. So neither, neither say, you know, <clears throat> this is what they're claiming. Let them deal with it. They've been fighting for over 2,000 years, and it ain't going to end because they're both, you know, everybody is just so dead set in their ways. Nothing's ever going to fix it. Now, let's move on to... The protesters for this, these climate activists, uh, I don't know what the hell these people are, to be honest with you, I don't know. They're sitting here blocking bridges, blocking tunnels, you know, going into Manhattan, what they, almost 300 of them were arrested for blocking the Holland Tunnel and the, you know, the Brooklyn Bridge and all that, so good for the New York City Police Department, they did the right thing in arresting them, hopefully. They keep them in jail a little bit longer than people are staying at the present time because, I mean, the paperwork's not even completed and these people are out on the street. So hopefully we see something different this time, but we'll have to find out. But my suggestion for handling these uh, protesters, I don't care if it's, you know, free Gaza, free Palestine, if it's uh, climate change, you know, stop oil, whoever. If it was me, I wish I could build me the Mach 5 from Speed Racer that has the uh, the blades that come out for chopping down trees. Those things pop out. Pfft, nobody's going to want to get in front of you. Or, if you got a big crowd like they've been saying, as a matter of fact, I think in front of the Holland Tunnel, they said they actually tied themselves together. That's what snow plows are for, you know. Put the blade down, put it on an angle. Go f slow enough that you're not going to kill them, but you gather them up, push them off to the side with a plow. So that would be my suggestion. But I'm always getting told that I'm an ass because I want to hurt people. No, not really. But uh, look at it this way. If you're in an ambulance... Your wife is in the ambulance because something happened or your child's in an ambulance. You're trying to get through and these jackasses are blocking the way because of a protest. And the person that you love succumbs to their injuries because they couldn't get to the hospital in time. You've got no one to blame but the protesters. Now in Seattle, the protesters were blocking everything and the cops just sat there and watched them. Personally, I'd get out of the car and I'd just start beating some butt. Will I go to jail? Most likely. But if I'm really lucky, 
The person I was beaten is in the cell with me. So I can continue having this discussion. But needless to say, the police have to start enforcing the law. They have to keep these protesters off the streets because federal and state law, every state in, in the union, you cannot block a roadway in, for a protest. You could get a permit to have a peaceful march, but you cannot sit there and block the flow of traffic or the f freedom of citizens to move throughout the country. It's illegal. It's a, fe it's a federal offense. It's also a state offense. Most places, it's also a city ordinance offense. So just arrest their asses. Just get them off the street. You know, it's time to, uh, for these people to start growing up. I mean, if you got an actual legit reason to protest, if I remember correctly, you had to be continually moving if you're on the sidewalk, but you could not hinder the flow of pedestrian traffic. So you can do your little protest, but you can't stop people and prevent them from getting on with their lives. It, it may have changed, but I doubt it. Yeah, let's see what else is going on. Da -da -da -da. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. A wall from his job. Calls in, says he's at home. Turns out he's at Walter Reed in ICU. Now, he's the number six man in line to become the president should anything happen. He's also required by law to report to the president every day. And he didn't. Biden, we know he's brain dead. He doesn't even know who's in the next room next to him, let alone where any of the, the staff are. You have, what's his name, Anthony Blinken trying to cover for Lloyd Austin's actions because of his whereabouts in the hospital. It's a complete cluster, and uh, the man should be removed from office. If you can't do your job, I mean, he's, he's a former officer, a general or admiral, whatever the hell. But the man can't do his job, doesn't know what he's supposed to do, and he lies about what he is doing. That right there says he is incompetent, and for the whole time he's been here, I'm just wondering who was pulling his strings and telling him what to do. Because the man is a walking disaster. Yeah, let's see what else is going on. Da -da. Mm. Well, that's about it, everybody. So y'all take care, be safe, and I hope you follow my little YouTube rants and raves. I see out.